Hi everyone, I'm Chrissy. Um, so my story, it's a couple of years old and it starts uh, quite literally on a night like last night. It was a dark and stormy, very rainy night and uh, I had gone to the gym to work out with my personal trainer. His name was Sean and I always called him Trainer Sean. Um, and I show up and I'm, it's just been such a horrid day. Uh, and there had been a lot of these horrid days uh, towards the end of 2013. And uh, I came in and I remember sort of being really worked up, almost in tears. Um, and, you know, coming in, working out with him, um, and even leaving. Usually I leave and I feel, you know, rejuvenated. Uh, but I left and I was still feeling really just unraveled and uh, I remember being there with some other folks you know around my age some other women and I thought to myself then all of these people um, are here just like me we're showing up and we're doing the work and I'm in with you know a like-minded group of people uh, why is it that in my business I don't have that um, and that kind of stuck with me at that moment uh, but you know, similar to some of the other stories I've heard tonight, uh, I wasn't going to have sort of a come to Jesus moment right then. Uh, I would go on to uh, make a lot more mistakes um, and many, many more screw ups. I was running a small performing arts agency and I was working with theater artists, uh, dance artists, um, comedians, uh, you know, young audience performers. Uh, I had about eight on my roster at the time and I was booking them um, in performing arts centers and theaters um, and schools and that sort of thing. And, you know, all the, th the things that we hear about artists are very, very true. They're, they're, they're amazing on the stage, uh, but they can be um, really, really difficult to work with at times. And I was both their manager and I was their agent. And I had started out with, you know, a group of, of just rules. <laughs> These are the new rules. <laughs> this is what happens when you come and you work with me. Um, except that I realized, you know, over time that I wasn't really holding my artists accountable to these rules. And it might have been everything from just, you know, this is how you're supposed to behave if you go to a conference, to uh, these are my expectations of you and these are the materials that I need. But, uh, you know, I would go into 2014 and really, really get challenged. I would continue to have these experiences where I would go to the conference and I wouldn't have the materials that I needed. And I would be the one who was creating that one, p one page or that one sheet or the postcard that the artist was supposed to supply me with. Um, I would get super attached to a particular production or um, a, a new artist. Um, and I could totally fall down that well of, oh my God, they're just, they're amazing. Um, and there's so much that I could do with this artist. I can sell them. And, and I'd have these meetings and what I would find is that I was, I was breaking all of my own rules. And, you know, they were pushing boundaries and they were asking so many questions and I'd see, you know, God, you're explaining everything. You're over explaining. Um, and this just doesn't need to be like this, but oh, oh, that awesome piece. You're gonna do so well with it. Um, you gotta have this artist. You gotta do whatever it takes to nail this artist and get them on your roster. Uh, and, and that just, oh, such a mistake. Um, because ultimately what was happening is, you know, I was letting down all of my guards and I was reducing fees. Um, I was making so many exceptions to, to my own new rules uh, that I wouldn't really see until much, much later. And so, you know, fast forward a little bit. Um, I start looking at really revamping this particular business at the time um, and really scaling back and you know, working in a smaller scale, I wound up working with um, a coach and I really got very, very clear on a lot of these mistakes that I was making. Um, the boundaries, the rules, um, just how, how much I was giving away and not valuing myself. Uh, and working with that coach really helped me see that I needed to do things much, much differently. I also had to get away from being so, so attached to, to certain things, to certain outcomes. Um, and so what I wound up doing was, like I said, scaling back significantly. 
uh, only working with just a couple of artists and artists that I did truly love. There's certain, certainly something to be said for you have to love the product that you're selling, um, but getting much more clear about the kind of person that I wanted to be working with, how I wanted that person to be treating me, how I wanted to feel uh, when I worked with those people. And I, I figured it out pretty fast uh, once I did a lot of that soul searching and some of that homework. Um, and it was a lot easier to learn how to say no um, and to pick up the phone and, and have some of these tougher conversations with some of the artists that, uh, that were behaving badly all these years. Um, and you know, those artists, they handled it badly, naturally. Um, they threw fits, they said horrible things, they were bullies to me on the phone. Um, it was so nasty and, uh, and it's hard not to let that get to you. Um, but you know, one of the things that I had realized too was, all right, you know, give yourself just, just a teensy little bit of time to feel bad uh, and then move on because these, they're gone, they're out of your life now. Uh, and you get to move forward working now with the people that, that are really good for you, that value you, um, that make you feel good and feel worthy and then you can make them feel worthy. Um, so the lessons that were learned sort of over that maybe like year to year and a half time frame um, were, you know, they, they, they really did sort of tie back to, you know, working with Trainer Sean and how do, I, how do I replicate that? How do I get those kinds of people just like me in my world, in my life? Um, working with the coach certainly helped, but it was definitely about getting clear on my own message and the types of people that I really wanted to work with. Um, who were they? What were the problems that I was solving? Uh, and just that clarity was so important. Um, setting those boundaries, <laughs> the new rules, really sticking to them. Uh, and, and I think finding the power in the word no and finding power in, in that clarity of who you work well with. And, and then of course not getting attached to, to the outcomes. Uh, you know, there's always gonna be these random hurricanes of outcome. And uh, the more clear that we are in who we are and who we serve, the less we kind of get derailed. So uh, that is my story. Yeah. <laughs>